It's Saturday morning in the Dutch city of Harlem and the open market is in full bloom. It's one of the larger and more lively market squares in all of the Netherlands. Market day in a European city is generally a lot of fun. You get a chance to mingle around with the locals and have a look at the produce and the cheese and the fruits and different clothing items for sale, participating like a resident, and maybe you'll find something good to eat. It's no surprise this big event is at the Central Market Square, right in the middle of town, next to the big church. On the map, you'll see the network of streets in the old town that we've shown you in another movie, and today we'll focus on the Market Square, right in the center. When traveling, it's not always easy to strike up conversations with the locals, but on Market Day, everybody is ready to talk. So by all means, have some chats with the vendors. So what's going on here? Well, this is a market every day, every Saturday from 9 till 5. We have a lot of stuff here. You can buy fresh flowers, fresh meat, fresh chicken, fresh potatoes. You, you can have anything you like. We have uh, nice vegetables, uh, food. Just you can eat it right away. It's very much fun. And uh, it's a good place to work. To work? It's, yeah, it's a good place. It's fun. We have the nice buildings around us, the ni nice restaurants, lots of people. Yeah. All, all over the world, it's nice. Yeah. Well, we have them from America, from Canada, from Australia, from France, from Germany. So, so it's a real social place. Too. Yes, definitely, definitely. A lot of conversations. Also, yes. Strangers meeting. Also, and the people are coming from everywhere. They they know this. They and come. it's right next to the big church. The big church. You can go inside. It's very nice. Mm. And what are you selling here? We are selling wool. From Holland. Yes, yes, it's Dutch wool. It's cold in the winter. Well, we have uh, Dutch winters. They're not that cold anymore. But and I have some customers over okay. there, so I'm going on. Thank you very much. Oh, bye, you. bye bye. Bye bye. Find the clothing for sale as well as some hardware and other kinds of miscellaneous gadgets, including a nice variety of bicycle seats. The Dutch love flowers and are major world suppliers. But nothing is more Dutch than cheese. Is this cheese from Holland? Yeah, it's almost everything is from Holland, except uh, this one and this one. The rest is from Holland. Every cheese is different. Goat cheese, farmer cheese. So how many kinds of cheese? How many varieties? 30, 30 kinds of cheese, uh -huh. I think. You want some? Um, maybe a taste. Yeah? Every We've got some uh, cheese from the farm, and those are uh, raw, from raw milk. Not pasteurized. Not pasteurized, yeah. I like that one. So, raw. It's okay? Now, try it. Yeah, sure. Not that dangerous? <laughs> Creamy and spicy. So it's uh, not pasteurized? No, no, no. It's raw milk. Raw milk. Yeah. Handmade by farmers. In America, raw milk cheese is legal but not so common. It is required to be aged for 60 days out of some health concerns, but many argue that raw milk cheeses are more delicious than pasteurized cheese, with a spunkier, more natural and exciting flavor. Located in the middle of Europe and also being very open-minded, the Dutch like cheese from other countries as well. No Dutch cheese. For France, Italy, Spain, Portugal. Oh, all over Europe. No Holland. No Holland cheese, no. Uh, uh, pecorino with truffle. Enjoy. It's a very exclusive cheese. Of course, the heart and soul of any open market is the produce, the vegetables especially. Fresh and locally grown. A lot better than frozen food from a supermarket. What is this? Oh, organic food we have. All oh, vegetables, organic. Yeah. So very grown, healthy. Where is it grown? All in Holland at the moment. Most of the things are from Holland. Uh -huh. Still, okay. yeah. Holland, is, the, is it the Netherlands or do you just say Holland when you talk about your country? Netherlands, Nederland. Yeah. Nederland, yeah. yeah. Okay, how much is that? Uh, 450 please. A bag of nuts is one of my favorites. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. One of the most fascinating elements of Dutch culture are the bicycles. They're everywhere. It seems like everybody has a bicycle, or if you're a tiny toddler, you're on the front seat or the back seat, or maybe in a little cart that's attached to the bicycle. It's endlessly entertaining to 
watch the variety of bicycles go by. Sometimes it's like a little pickup truck with capacity for cargo and a baby. This clever lady gives her dog a workout and gets pulled along on a free ride. Notice she's not pedaling. Somehow each bicycle is unique and these carts and carriages seem unusual to uh, visitors from America, but this is perfectly normal here. Actually, it's a great way to get around, of course. And here's how you load two frisky little kids into the cart. Notice there's a front seat for the little girl and a back seat for big brother and room for cargo with a handheld loaf of bread. Get their shoes on, secure them in place, and push them along, get ready for the journey. It's a normal daily routine. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I have a theory that one reason that Dutch are generally smart and sociable and outgoing and alert is they grew up on the front seat of a bicycle with their eyes open and seeing the world spin by them. A very stimulating and daily experience instead of being trapped into the back seat of a car as we do in many other cultures. The typical Dutch bicycle is very efficient with just one speed, direct chain drive with no loss of energy. Unlike fancier bikes with multiple gears and derailleurs adding some friction and resistance. Another favorite item of mine are the breads, the incredible dark and rich and heavy breads with lots of seeds and varieties and textures. And you find this kind of good wholesome bread throughout Northern Europe and Germany certainly and Scandinavia, which bears many similarities to the Netherlands. And here we have fresh bread. Some of it's actually baked right on the spot. Some of these counters have brought along their ovens and so they can waft that wonderful odor of fresh baked bread out to lure you in and buy a loaf or two. Pick up some cheese to go with it and you've got yourself an instant meal. Maybe a picnic lunch or even dinner. If you don't find anything to eat at the market, there are a number of cafes all around the market. There's a beautiful corner bar here. People kicking back, watching the parade of people going by, having a drink or having a meal. It's a perfect spot for a break before plunging back into the market. And there's always some kind of opportunity for free samples, so don't be shy. They want to give it away to entice you to buy. For example, these wonderful olives. Where are the olives from? From everywhere from the Mediterranean. So oh, really? it's a variation of, I think, maybe 10 countries. <laughs> the buildings all around the market square are beautiful and historic. Most of them date back to the 1600s. You've got the old meat market, you've got the weighing house, the city hall, and the big church, the Grote Kerk. There's an archaeology museum and some former residences of the nobles. You've got the visitor information office here, so stop in for some free maps and advice. Haarlem has a long history as an important market town. As far back as the 14th century when it was in its heyday, it was collecting tolls on the canal it was a larger city than Amsterdam. And then later in the 17th century, it reached its cultural peak with artists such as Franz Hals living here and creating many great masterpieces. It's long been the capital of tulip cultivation with the famous flower fields nearby in Koikenhof. And even today, it's a major producer of a variety of flowers. Well, you can see how much fun this market is, but you've got to be here on a Saturday to catch all of this action. So if you can possibly arrange your schedule, if you're staying in Amsterdam and you're around on a weekend, by all means, come on over to Harlem and have a walk around the market and then see the rest of town. We have more movies about Harlem, so be sure to have a look at our YouTube channel and subscribe so you can be notified about all of our recent uploads. We've also got a series of films about the Netherlands covering many of the highlights of this beautiful country. Stay tuned.